I like to catch them fish You bet I know my spots I got my vessel full About a thousand rods I wanna launch my boat Don't wanna come back home If you agree with me Then let me hear you go Nice. Missed that one, he tossed it right back in there. Nice First fish. fish of the day today, back in our good spot where we were the other night. Uh, this is where Billy got that open. Fish here. Gonna let him go here. If I can get down these rocks without dying. I'm just gonna toss him in. Hey guys, got this nice three pounder here on a spro popping frog. Um, casted it out and was popping it really hard across, and she just inhaled it. Um, quality fish. Uh, I almost lost her. I dropped her right next to the rocks there and uh, dove down and got her. But uh, really great fish. We're gonna get a few pictures here. We'll look at the uh, we're gonna get the release. Good right there. Using that Spro uh, popping frog. I don't know what color this is. I think it's like the leopard one. It's like the most basic. Didn't alter it at all. No skirt trimming. Nothing. I'm just popping it really hard in that green. And uh, it closes right back up after you pop it. He just came up and slammed it. That's a nice pound and a half right there. Uh, get the release here. Big one. Big one. Oh, buddy. Oh, yeah. nice fish. There's a three. Yeah, that's probably close to three pounds right there, guys. The blow up and everything on that. Nice. Row. Twice in a row. Came back for it, though. He missed the frog completely the first two times. I think that's the one I might have caught and dragged all the way over here. I don't here. know, but that's a solid, pretty pretty close to three pound fish. So, going to get the release. We're going to get some pictures and get the Guys, going to get the release here on this three pounder. It's going, it's recording, it's recording. I just turned it off the second the thing blew up on it. I think I got him. It is, it's, yeah, you got him. I got him. It's a bow fin though, but the second it blew up, I turned off the camera. That was terrible on my part. Oh my god. Get him up, dude. That's a big bowfin. <laughs> That's like the same size as the one I got yesterday. Caught a bowfin here. Top water spro frog again. Just killed the thing. Uh, we got some of the fight. Billy turned the camera off right as he blew up, but I still got him. I'm gonna take a few pictures here because it's one of the nicest fish I've ever. We're gonna go for the release here. Fishing with uh, Bass Action Outdoors here and, uh, and Bass and Bill, and uh, using a Spro Profit Frog, second three pounder of the day. And he just stole my fish. And I just stole his fish apparently, but you can see on the side of this one here they got that spot on them, and uh, that shows that it's a healthy fish. It, um, it's got spots on the back side of him too. So we're gonna get a few pictures here, and then we'll go for the, re re the release of this beauty right here. Joey's got there a bass goes. here. That's a nice one. It's probably like a pound and a half. Yeah, still quality. Got him Keeper. on that uh, depth slither K and the shooting star pattern. Nice, nice fish, man. Fish, so. Good, Good release, release here. Dang, this guy fought a lot harder in his size, but I was like two casts right after my last one on that depth slither K. He's Probably about a 12 inch or so. Get the releasing back to you. Bill, you're with another bass. That's a nice, she got a nice color on her. Choke that frog. Oh my god. Now it's starting to rain.
Got that depth slither K. Fishing a Bass Pro Qualifier 7 to 1 gear ratio with 50 pound Bass Pro braid. Got the St. Croix Premier Rod, 7 foot heavy action. Just a nice pound, pound and a half fish, so get the weights and get back to you. Alright guys, another little guy in that depth slither K. Just got him right off the edge of that thick mat over there. Just probably a little 10 inch fish, but I'm gonna get the release and get back to you. It was farther out. Oh, there he is. It's a bass. Yeah, I saw him. It's a bass. Big one? Oh, nice. Chunk. It's probably a pound and a half. Oh, he's a little bit bigger than that. Pound and three quarters? Yeah. yeah. Damn, you got pliers on you? No, I do not. Got it. Oh, there you go. Yeah, he's probably two. He's a two. It's a nice fish. Catch him on that spro popping frog. I told Billy I wanted to catch another uh, boat, and right as it hit the water, he just exploded on it. And he didn't have the camera rolling, so I hurry up and got the camera in his hand. And sure enough, this bad boy got him. He's got a spot right here on his back, on his side here. You can tell that that's a healthy fish when they get those spots on the side of him. So get the release here and uh, away you go the quarter here. Just launch it over there, I think destroyed it. If I can get the hook out. It's in there deep. There you go. Nice fish. There she goes. Let's see if we can get some more. There's a dick. Oh, that one? You see one and a half. That's a one and a quarter. Yeah. It's a nice fish. That it's real popping frog again. They're just destroying it. All right, guys. Just got this nice, like probably pound and a half fish, maybe. But this thing was probably one of the most aggressive strikes ever. I mean, this thing almost ripped the rod directly out of my hands. Just crazy aggressive, but I'm gonna get the release and get back to you. Billy Matthews over here, another fish. Got, is that? A on? two, yeah. Yeah, probably about close to two pounds. Got him on that same depth slither cave star shooting star pattern. So I'm gonna get the release and get back to you. Oh, there's the release. All right, guys, still throwing that depth slither K and uh, shooting star pattern. Got this nice 12 incher, little chunky guy, probably a little bit under a pound or about a pound. So. Get the release and get back to me some more. I'm probably keep a fish here. Hey guys, straight time bassman here, back again. Oh, he barely had it in his mouth. Um, using that spro popping frog, we, I really like this frog. I just used it my first time using it today and I destroyed this one. I mean, looking at it, you can see the paint's just peeling off of it. There's holes in it. Eyes are gone. I've, I've caught a lot of fish on this today, so uh, I don't even know what number this is, but it's probably a pounder, pounder, an eighth, something like that. Um, it's a nice quality fish. Uh, so here we go, we're gonna get the release. Hey guys, got another one here. Fat chunker, it's just short 14 inch chunker. I mean, look at the lump right here on the side of it. Uh, using that spro popper frog again over in the mat, dropped it and the thing jumped out at it and just destroyed it. So. Uh, nice little fish. Uh, Billy got one again over here. Guys, switch up to the spro popping frog. What's on the side of him? He got attacked by like a pike or one of those. Uh, Bow fins. Yeah, Bowfin. I switch up to a spro popping frog here, just the black and red pattern. And uh, this guy, second fish I've had on it so far, so it seems to be working pretty good. Got him right in the middle of that mat right there. Nice, probably just under two pounds, pound and a half, pound and three quarters. So get the release and get back to you. All right, so Billy just caught this fish and you're not gonna believe this. We didn't tattoo this on with the Sharpie or anything. There is a heart 
on the, on the outside of this fish, on the side of his tail. It's very strange, but okay, Billy, go ahead and talk about like it. A, close to two pounds, two pounder on that squirrel popping frog. Yeah, it's just pretty weird. She's got that heart pack. Heart fish, out. love fish. So, I'm gonna get the releasing it back to you. Double back foot. <laughs> I think he's tired. <laughs> No, he's not gonna jump, believe me. No. Just real. Another uh, nice quality fish here. And then a uh, scroll popping frog. Choked it. Uh, nice little chunky fish. Really pretty pattern on him. Nice looking fish. So, here's the release of him. Dink of over here is catching some more uh, dinks for you guys. Nice 10 inch right here. That's an 8. That's easy 10. You want to go get a measuring stick, man? I don't know. Put it next to your handle. That's it. That's a 10. You got it. You got it. It's an easy 10 inches, but it's still a small fish, but really dink. I don't know that depth of the cave. Just right in the open water here, so I'll get back to you with some more. Dinks.